don't buy quantum mechanics, you're in good company. Einstein wasn't sold on it either. But he had an excuse. The quantum no-go theorems didn't exist by the time he died. So what's yours? See, in the decades following Einstein's death, various mathematical truths of quantum mechanics were established. In 1964, John Bell published his now-famous theorem, whose experimental verification over the next few decades finally won the Nobel Prize in 2022. In 1966, the same Bell published a result now called the Koken-Specker theorem, which was independently and more efficiently proved the next year with loophole-free experimental verification provided in 2022. Further results followed, including the PBR theorem in 2012. What they all have in common is that they are no-go theorems. They rule out certain kinds of hidden variable theories. See, we have tons of measurements that agree perfectly with the traditional views on quantum mechanics. What a hidden variable theory is trying to do is to account for all of the observations of quantum mechanics while still being classical, in the sense that all of the experimental outcomes are determined by some pre-existing variables that exist hidden in the system under investigation. And this is what Einstein hoped for, that if we just looked deep enough, we'd find some sort of classical theory underlying reality for which quantum mechanics was merely a surface level view. Unfortunately for him, and you if you hold this view, the no-go theorems heavily limit what kinds of properties any such classical theory must have. The most famous is Bell's theorem, which says that any hidden variable theory that reproduces the predictions of quantum mechanics must be non-local, meaning that two particles must be able to interact with each other across vast distances instantaneously. Slightly less famous, but in my opinion more significant, is the Koken-Specker theorem, which says that any such hidden variable theory must be contextual. The outcomes of measurements must depend on the kind of device making the measurement, rather than just on the system being measured. Finally, the PBR theorem makes the claim that no hidden variable theory can be preparation independent. What this means is that if you independently prepare two quantum systems in completely separate ways, say, a light year away from each other but at the same time, then they can still be correlated with each other despite having nothing to do with one another. As in Bell's inequality, this again implies instantaneous interactions. So if you want to maintain hidden variables, i.e. realism, you have to give up locality, non-contextuality, and preparation independence. I suspect that if Einstein was alive today, he would see that the bullets he would have to bite to maintain his view are too big to swallow. So what's your excuse?